what's up? It's your boy LeCain, and we face famous Blazer Mics. We got Screwface John versus Knox Hill. And how are we going to do this? We're going to judge them accordingly. Bars, message, flow, crime scene, the video, and we're going to have it. In this corner, you got Screwface John. Rapper, battle rapper, notable battles. Hell, he went straight after Upchurch. A while back during the pandemic, Screwface has been known. He also went after Samad. So, Screwface has no problem going after people. In the other corner, we got Knox Hill, notable bells. He went after Melly Mel. He went after some other people, too. Now he's going after Screwface. Look, I want both of y'all to get the mic. Do what you need to do. Blaze this mic. Don't be no punks. Don't be no bitches. And we're going to see how we're going to do this. Don't spit none of that shit you spit last week. Don't spit none of that shit you spit last month. Come out with some bars. Be ready. Let's go. All right? Now, for you guys, get yourself ready. Get your popcorn. You got 10 seconds. It's your boy, Cane. Bars. Yo, what's up? Here we go. Screw face. Get it. <sighs> we aiming up at the sky because we heard that these vultures can fly. Now, we already talked about vultures. Of course, obviously, Screw face is going to talk about Knox Hill being the culture vulture. He don't like it. He already, he, matter of fact, he, once again, cannot spit stuff you already did but culture vulture normally is a term that goes after white rappers in the rap game so let's go because we heard that these vultures can fly all right let's go get your cadence right get your bars right let's go they never been part of the culture that's just a liar clever disguise in the school of hard knocks you would not have made it out the lunch line with a fucking box of stuff you in the locker sneak dissing called him out already the school of hard knocks. Bro, that ain't gonna fly in the school of hard knocks. So he's saying you're the side, you act part of the country, but since you're white, you're not really culture. So are you gonna call this up? You're coming up with the slow pace. We know this is gonna speed up. I'd have made it out the lunch line. With a fucking box of stuff you in the locker. Pussy, it's a hard knock life. And giving out a hall pass, you better. We know hard knock life from Annie. Also, Jay-Z had the Hard Knock Life song as well. Okay, okay, callbacks. Pussy, it's a hard knock life. And giving out a hall pass, you better haul ass or die like the last. You about to fall in my trap. I swear these body badges fall in my lap. First shot was just an arm shot, but pussy, next shot gonna be your last. All right, he's saying I'm warning you. I didn't let you know what you got. Don't be no punk. Let's go. First shot was just an arm shot, but pussy, next shot gonna be your last. Would you rather have him sign your casket, or would you rather have him sign your cast? I'm like a Tesla, I have the drive, even when I ain't had a will. But so even if he ain't had the will, talking about the will, talking about the will to keep going, also ain't had the will, because Teslas can drive themselves, you type it in a little computer, Teslas will drive themselves automatic. Like he said, if I ain't had the will, I'm still going to go on autopilot, because even if I ain't had the will to do it, I still made it happen. I still made it go. I'm like a Tesla. I have the drive even when I ain't had a will. But this ain't for the skill. Pussy, I'm out here to kill. This ain't fucking battle rap. No, this ain't for the thrill. Remember what you said. You're going to have to die on that hill. All right. Remember, on what you said, Knox, that's what he's saying. You're going to die on that hill. You better get ready. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. The package just landed the way that I planned it Cause I swing this hammer with reckless abandon They open the antics, I'm up in the standards And up in this cannon and tuck in my man Just fucking shit panic Bitch, if it's up in the stuff, then we'll put you up in the attic Cause these automatics gonna come with attachments These shots gonna come with a bell like an attic Come fuck with the baddest Oh, these are going to come with a belt like an addict. Normally, when you have a heroin addict, they wrap the belt around their arm. They pull it with their mouth. Then they shoot themselves up with heroin. So he said they're going to come with like the addict. Also, the attic on top of the house, which he's talking about when you climb up and it's within up 
above your ceiling. That's the attic. That he's talking about the gunplay. Now, in battle rap, they always have gunplay in battle rap for those who don't know. So you're probably going to hear some gun bars and all that. Like any other battle rapper, they pull out gun bars. Once again, since I'm the ref, it's played out. Gun bars are played. If you're going to diss somebody, diss some right screw. Don't be up here playing with your food. Let's eat. Better cook. Let's go. Keep you on the wrist. Got the Bone Thugs and Harmony shirt on. Okay, I see you. I see you. Art of War. Pac was on that album. Pac. That's a reference. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. And he turned on 1999 from Bone was the shit. I'm gonna start reacting to that. Let's go. The package has landed the way that I planned it. Cause I swing this hammer with reckless. The pack has landed the way I just planned it. So you're talking about hey. The package is landed the way I planned this out. Already got it for you. So you guys got to remember the Drake and whole Kendrick Lamar thing. Both of them talking about moles. I planned this, planned that, blah, 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 blah. Look, don't be up here trying to reference other people's shit. You better get your shit right. Screw. Let's go. Now you're going to swing in a hammer. You're talking about the gun. I'm swinging that hammer and the hammer that you use to hit a nail. I'm up in the standards and up in this cannon. Cannon. If you don't know where the cannon is, for those who don't know, that's a gun. We breaking this down bar for bar. Swing this hammer with reckless abandon. They open the antics. I'm up in the standards. Then up in this cannon and tucking my manners. Fucking shit. I'm tucking my manners. Me and when I pull this, get ready to get it. Let's go. Put your fix up in the stuck the wheel. Put you up in the attic. Cause these automatics go come with attachments. These shots go come with a bell like an attic. Come fuck with the baddest. I learned that checking the niggas is easy as checking the status. They try to combat us, but they learn it's not in the phone when the guns in the hand of the rabbit. No niggas is trapping. I know what boots are stacking. Whose future is stuffed in his mattress. Just call me the savage. No a white shooter like Luca. I got a future in the mavericks. The salad. All right, let's break that down. You know, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it ride some. Then I'm gonna bring it back. Go ahead and start breaking it down so you guys get a hit on what he's talking about. Let's go. Up in the attic, cause these automatics go come with attachments. These shots go come with a bell like an attic. Come fuck with the baddest. I learned that checking the niggas is easy. I learned that checking the niggas is easy as checking the status. So you're talking about checking the status of a person, of a dead body, or checking the status of anybody. So checking, also checking, putting somebody in their place. He's saying it's easy to do, like checking somebody's status. Just checking the status, they try to combat us, but they learn it's not in the phone when the guns in the hand of the rabbit. No niggas is trapping. Okay. I know what boots are stacking, who's switching like stuff in his mattress. Just call me. It's not right. He's saying you got the gun, it ain't fun. The rabbit got the gun, is it? As we saying, is it not? Come fuck with the baddest. I learned that checking the niggas is easy as checking the status. They try to combat us, but they learn it's not in the phone when the guns in the hand of the rabbit. No niggas is trapping. I know what boots are stacking, who's All right. You got boosters stacking, okay, okay, future is stuff. Future is stuff in his mattress, just call me the same. All right, so what people do when they have money, they always put that stuff in their mattress when you got money, so you stuff in the mattress. All right, just call me the savage, tell my savage. He could be talking about Macho Man Randy Savage, and also a savage is a person with no, no morals, no type of mannerisms. They just go at you. They just come at you like a savage. No rhyme or reason. They just rip you apart. All right. All right, all right, let's go. Ooh, a shooter like Luca, Luca, doctors who plays for the Dallas Mavericks. Okay. Ma hey, Luca is the truth, though. I will say Luca's the truth. Also, call back because Luca's white and, and, you know, Knox Hill's white, too. Let's go. We're in the Mavericks, the salary gift, and they added his bits, and it's back to the strip with a motherfucking package. You battle me, can't give you half of the clip. Which one you want? Push your malice. Son, swear, this is all my palace. If anyone come play with my family, just pray you never call it out lacking. Gun stay, it is all my sadness. Ugh. Okay, that was pretty nasty. That was nasty. Okay, let's go. The salary gift, and they added his bits. Okay, the salary dip, when, you really, when you're losing money, then you out of this. You ain't in the rap game no more or the sport. Like, what does Screwface say? Hip-hop is a sport. Also, battling is a sport. That's why they have battle leagues. Hip-hop is a sport. So, one of the core elements and genre of hip-hop is battling. That's what he means when you say hip-hop is a sport. For those who can't get it through their head and it goes over their head, that's what it means when you say hip-hop is a sport. The battling aspect of hip hop. Let's go. Cause you know there's five temples of hip hop. Five temples. Let's go. Back to the strip with a motherfucking package. You battle me, can't give you half of the clip. Which one? 
I'm right back on the strip with the package, talking about the guns, not my guns, the drugs, whatever. You're back on the strip with the package, or you call about back on the strip like a female with the package between her legs. Also, you say he might, he might be saying one pimp you out too. You never know. Which one you want to push your malice? Now you're talking about the clips, clips and the gun, clips, push your malice. Talking about grinding that song, if y'all don't know. So, push your malice. Okay, we get you. We get you. That's what he names his gun. Push your malice. Now, you don't know what feng shui is. Feng shui, you can put everything nice and orderly in a neat fashion. That is feng shui. Everything has a place to have peace and tranquility, which is feng shui. Because you want things even or in a certain order of how you put things so you can have peace in your own house or whatever. Feng Shui. Let's go. Which one you want? Push your malice. Feng Shui, this is all my palace. If anyone come play my family. Just pray you never caught out lacking. Gun stay, it is all my sadness. And if you know who Samus is, Samus is talking about Metroid. Metroid got the gun attached to his arm, so that's who Samus is from the video game Metroid on Nintendo. This is all my palace. If anyone come play my family. Just pray you never caught out lacking. Gun stay, it is all my Samus. I might help cat it. I'ma need all of the features like Cali. Fuck around, might buy me a paddock. Or an AP because we ain't in the same class. Huh, huh, splitting this cabbage. I'm just trying to bring my brothers with me like the Nats. Put on the mask and the text start flashing. They ain't even know who it was. It's a cabbage. Okay. All right. All right. He's, he's coming through. He's trying to come through. All right. Let's go. Let's see what you got. Let's break it down. Let's go. I give you half of the clip. Which one you want? What's your malice? Fun shred. This is all my palace. If anyone come play. So you're talking about this is all my house. This whole hip hop and everything. This is my house. This is my palace. Don't come play with my family, bro. My family. Just pray you never call it out lacking. Gun stay. It is all my service. Like it says, my Samus Metroid. I'm going to need all of the features like Cali. <laughs> Fuck around, might buy me a paddock or an Now you're talking about I might Hellcat a Hellcat Dodge and stuff like that. That's where you get your Hellcat from. Okay, let's it go. All my I might Hellcat it. I'm gonna need all of the features like Cali. Now you're talking about I need all the features like Cali. You know DJ Cali have all his features on his albums when DJ Cali always talking about another one. And Cali, you already know, Cali be in some controversy too. But anyway, Cali has all his features. Of rappers on his album. So, like he said, I need all my features. All right, we got you, screw. We got you, screw. Screw hyped up. He's hyped. Fuck around, might buy me a paddock. Now, here's the thing fuck around, buy me a paddock. It's not called a paddock, it's called a petite. That's the name of the watch. It's a petite, not a paddock. Don't be that ignorant. It's petite. And they're expensive ass watches, too. Let's go. Or an AP is laying in the same class. Huh, huh. Mm. Splitting this. He said, or a P watch, but also we ain't in the same class, bro. You ain't in my league. You ain't need splitting this cabbage, talking about his head, and you split a cabbage when you get ready to make coleslaw, stuff like that. All right, cabbage. I'm just trying to bring my brothers with me like the Nasus. Put on the map. Now, if you don't know who that, the Nasus is, the Nasus is um, Giannis's brothers and stuff who played the NBA basketball. All right, let's go. Asking a text star flashing. They ain't even know who it was. It's a catfish. Look at these bastards. Man, these niggas is pussy. He said, you don't know who it was like catfish, because catfish, everybody should know if you get catfish. You appear to be one thing until you see them in person outside their IG, and they're not that person. They're ugly. You got catfish. Blind date, y'all. All right. All right, all right, let's go. I mean, like the masses, put on the mask and the text start flashing. They ain't even know who it was. The catfish, look at these bastards. Man, these niggas is pussy. You see how they acting? Bitch, ain't no medium. Shit, I'm in the mode of being me because these niggas is average. Know what the math is? We get to add and take out a fraction. They'll be subtracting things in my past and drove me to snap. Shit, you can get back from my motherfucking bag. Okay, okay. From cabbage to bagging. Okay, let's go, let's go. All right, let's see what you got. Huh, splitting this cabbage. I'm just trying to bring my brothers with me like the Nats. Put on the mask and the text start flashing. They ain't even... Put on the mask and the text start flashing. Once I put this mask on, I get the text saying, it's go time. We about to go. We about to ride on these boys. All right, so screw face is height. Someone, we about to ride on you. All right. You know who it was. It's a catfish. Look at these... Oh, uh, yeah, you didn't know who it was because once we ride on you, we had our mask on. You know who he was. You got catfish. You may have seen me. Next day, you get rolled on. You get shot up. I had the mask on. You didn't even know it was me. You got catfish, bro. Man, these niggas is pussy. You see how they acting? Bitch, ain't no median. Shit, I'm in the motor. Ain't no median. Ain't nothing to divide us. Ain't no median. Median is right down the middle. Ain't no median. Let's go. 
No me. I'm not sitting here being leveled. Let's go. The niggas, the niggas is average. Know what the math is. We get to add and take out a fraction. They'll be subtracting things in my path and draw me to snap so you can get back from my motherfucking bag. All right, so y'all should know what that is. That's pretty simple to get, right? That's easy work. Easy work. Nothing to break down there. All right, you, you, you just talking about wiping people out. All right, let's go. Any nigga try to play my reactions. Broke it, probably get paid for their plasma. They ain't making what I'm paying in taxes, but it's great. Got me shaking and laughing. Huh. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Take out a fraction, they'll be subtracting things in my path and draw me to snap so you can get back from my motherfucking bag. Is any nigga try to play my reaction? Alright, you trying to you trying to play me, you trying to take me as a joke on these reactions. Don't sit here and mess around and talk shit about my reactions, okay? Alright. Broke it probably getting paid for they And you saying you broke and you probably getting paid for your plasma. Don't try to play me, bro. And we ain't talking about play and watch reactions. You talking about don't don't be talking shit about my reactions. Cause you are you broke. My day ain't making what I'm paying in taxes, but it's Ugh, you said what I'm paying in taxes, you ain't even making that money. Got me shaking in laughter. Okay. Okay. It's great. Got me shaking in laughter. Huh, huh. I'll make them examples. Make examples. Y'all not taking a mantle. Taking a mantle. I'll bet you the amp you just to show you to your face what you can. Man. All right, so the beat is straight. He had a nice little ad libs in the back. I heard down the mantle and things like that. All right, I see what he's got going on. Screw, you need to turn it up, though. You need to turn it up, because what you don't know about Knox, he listens to Eminem just like you. And Knox is good at wordplay. You need to watch it. Knox is in the corner waiting, studying you, watching you. Every slip you make, you better make sure you rebound from it. Don't play. Let's go. I'll make them examples. Y'all not taking a mantle. I'll bet you the amp. You just to show you to your face what you can. Man, take this pussy nigga straight to the dock. I'm gonna amp you up. This show you what you can't do. Once I amp you up, I'm gonna show you you can't do this. Let's go. To bring the hammer down like breaking our lives. The bitches now and now can't wait for our off. But in and out from now, I may have to off. To bring your tower down, I may have to con. Your hundred thousand rounds that came with the con. Cause all you cowards now that made me a monster. Bring your tower up, they may have to stop. Cause they be biting like they're making a zombie. Shoot a snooping like they came up in lobbies. Need donations for your safety, I'm sorry. Your salvation gonna take you an army. Oh, nice. Nice wordplay there. All right, let's make go. Make them examples. Make them examples. Y'all not taking a mantle. Taking a mantle. I'll bet you the amp. You just to show you to your face what you can. Man, take this pussy nigga straight to the doctor. Bring the hammer down like breaking our lives. Uh, take it to the doctor. Bring the hammer down like I'm breaking the lobster. When you break a lobster, you use a hammer, right? Or you could take a knife, stab him, and then split them. And then that way you could kill a lobster that way as well. Also, when you go to the doctor, we need to take out their little hammers that got to test your reflexes. So you might be saying you test your reflex. I'm bringing that hammer down like on like a, doing a lobster, though. So therefore, I'm bringing that hammer down a little bit more force than what you used to. But doctors use that little thing to test your reflexes, tap you in the knee or whatever, make your leg jump. All right. Okay, let's go. I see what you're doing. I see what, what you're you doing. can. Man, take this pussy nigga straight to the doctor. Bring the hammer down like breaking our lives. The bitches now and now can't wait for our offer. In and out from now, I may have to offer. Yeah, I may have to take you out once again. We getting too many gun bars. Bring the hammer down like breaking our lives. The bitches now and now. Bitches now or now can't wait for an offer. Hey, bitches now or now can't wait for the offer. Give me the money. Give me the money. Can't wait for our offer. In and out from now, I may have to offer. Yeah. Bring your tower down, I may have to con your hunt. Bring the tower down, talking about twin towers. You know what happened? 9 11, we got you. But now, can't wait for our offer. In and out from now, I may have to offer. Yeah. Bring your tower down, I may have to con your hundred thousand. Uh, I may have to con you because King Kong also climbed up the Sears Tower and things like that. So, he may be talking about the Sears Tower. Or if not, he may be talking about one of the towers in New York. But King Kong climbed the towers. All right, let's go. Rather came with the Congas. And the Congo is from the Congo Nation, because, you know, Africa. And the Congo Nation, because the Congo, Congo is guerrilla warfare. We're going to come up shooting up. All right, let's go. Oh, you cowards now that made me a monster. Bring your time. Mm. Oh, like they may have to stop, because they be biting like they're making a zombie shooter. Yeah, zombies, of course, bite people. Pretty easy to get. Shooter snooping like they came from, in from Long Beach. Okay, talking about Snoop Dogg. Shout out Snoop. Snooping like they came up in Long Beach. Need the and snooping because you, you know, you snooping around. Make sure you don't get caught snooping like in Long Beach. I, 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 I need donations for you. For your safety, I'm sorry. Your salvation gonna take you an army. Ugh, salvation army donations and then salvation army you take the donations and you talking about me have to take donations not to hurt you and like the salvation army 
Alright, alright, I get you. I see what you're doing. They have to stop us. They be biting like they're making a zombie. Shoot a snoop like they came up in lobbies. Need donations for your safety. I'm sorry. Your salvation gonna take you an army. Killing like Chucky. Up. Yeah, the salvation gonna take you an army to save you. You're gonna need an army. You ain't talking about the salvation army donations. Nice play on that. Okay, let's play with a time. You make them go. So I got the power. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, okay, okay. Came up in lobbies. Need donations for your safety. I'm sorry. Your salvation gonna take you an army. Killing like Chucky. I play with a time. You make them go. So I got the power to call me. Okay, you're talking about ghosts from power, ghosts, Tommy, Kami, all of them from the show Power, and not to mention the Tommy gun. And he's gonna make you ghosts, he's gonna take you out. All right. Hear an echo because the way that they copy this a danger film. Stop playing with Rod. Let's get to the shit. My profession is switch. School of hard knocks. The profession is shit. You better move at the president's dick. Or you gonna move out like Kennedy did. Fuck, mm. fuck. Don't F with the kid. Son of a gun like a tech in the crib. Bitch, my initials and F in the end. Bitch, the kitchen. Let the chef in the kit. Okay, let's back it up. Back it up. Let's go. Break it down. Let's Feel go. Like they came up in lobbies. Need donations for your safety. I'm sorry. Your salvation gonna take you an army. Killing like Chucky. I play with a Kill it like Chucky, Chucky doll. Okay, tell my kill, killing like Chucky. I play with the Tommy, Tommy gun. Also, Tommy from Power. Tommy, make him go, so I got the power to call me. Hear an echo, cause the way that they. Hear an echo, cause the way that they copy when I talk, there's an echo that's going out. So I'm hearing the echo the way that they copy me, because hey, that's the echo. All right, let's copy this a day. And like they said, echo chamber. Everything I say, other people are saying it too, cause the echo chamber. All right, this is a danger field, Rodney Dangerfield. Okay, okay. Plus, Dangerfield might be landmines down on the ground. We got you. We feel you. These are easy bars, though. Screw, screw. This is too easy. But then again, it's me. It's me. This easy work for me. Let's go. Dangerfield, stop playing with Rodney. Let's get to the shit. My professional Rodney switch. Dangerfield. School of hard knocks. School of hard knocks. Yeah, definitely. School of hard knocks. Rock band. Also, TV show with uh jack black in it okay i get you plus school of hard knocks I mean it's gonna be hard for you to do what you need to do because school of hard knocks life lessons is also called the screw the school of hard knocks when you're learning life lessons got you tommy make them go so i got the power to call me here an echo because the way that they copy this a danger film stop playing with rod let's get to the shit my profession is switch school of hard knocks the profession is shit see school of hard knocks plus you know music all that good stuff all right let's go the profession and shit rap hip-hop you better move like the president's did. You better move like the president's did. Secret service got secret service around them. That's how presidents move. All right. All right. All right. Are you going to move out like Kennedy? Or are you going to move out like Kennedy did? Because Kennedy was on the car. Of course, he got shot by the guy, Grassy Knoll, and all that other good shit. Mm. Mm. Grassy Knoll, who was there. But you had the guy up in the tower who took the shot and hit Kennedy. All right. Blew his brains out too so you're gonna move out like kennedy did you about to get out plus all the candy stayed in the white house so you're gonna move out like kennedy did all right let's go son of a gun got taken the crib son of a gun son of a gun something you say like god dang it son of a gun all right plus son of a gun got the tech the tech nine in the crib Bitch, my initials are F and the N. F N F N is a type of gun too. F and the N, that's also a type of gun. All right, so I got you. I got you. Fuck, fuck, don't F with the kid. Son All of right. a gun like a tech in the crib. Bitch, my initials are F and the N. This the kitchen, let the chef in the kit. Yeah, this is the kitchen. So this battleground that we on right now, let the, I'm about to chef you. I'm about to cook you. Let the chef in begin. Got you. Go and drop that low pussy, I'll meet you there. Now what you want? Pop up in your home, pussy, I'll greet you there. I'll really kill you. I ain't shooting low pussy, just be. All right, you hear the ad libs in the back. Now you're talking about taking you out, Knox. You're talking about getting you. you what you gonna do? We, we, we back on these gun bars again. Let's go. You there? Now what you want? Pop up in your home, pussy, I'll greet you there. He representing Nebraska now. I ain't shooting low pussy, just be prepared. Park you in that garage and leave. You my friend, if you remove him and you remove and that, who are you? Bitch, improve on your pen, you sound stupid again. Yeah, we get it, man. We heard rap got to. Do you even like rap? Man, it sounds like cat, but you whack. I ain't even gotta argue. You just did it for the cloud, your opinion doesn't count. You think Tom McDonald goes hard, dude. Ugh. Okay. Alright, let's 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 get this part. Let's get this part right here. Let's go. Uh, really kill you. I ain't shooting low pussy, just be prepared. I really like you. Park you in that garage and leave. Yeah. You, my friend, if you remove Eminem and you remove it. Now you remove Eminem and if you remove NF. NF, who are you? Who are you, Knox? He's saying without Eminem and NF reactions on your channel. 
you will not blow up and be where you at. He said, who are you? You ain't nobody without them. He said, you're trying to be like them. Without them too, who are you? He said, you're also trying to be like them as you reacted to them to get your channel blown up and your music. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a couple of triples in there. Let's go. Like you in that garage and leave. You, my friend, if you remove them and them and you remove them, who are you? Bitch, improve on your pen. You're sounding stupid again. Yeah, we get it, man. We heard rap got too. Do you even like rap? Man, it sounds like cat, but you whack. I ain't even got to argue. You just did it for the cloud. Your opinion doesn't count. You think Tom McDonald goes hard, dude. Yeah, you say you think Tom McDonald go hard, too. You said Tom McDonald because you react to Tom McDonald as well, just like a lot of people do. But he said you think now he's saying Tom McDonald ain't hard the way he put it. Cause he said you think Tom McDonald. So basically, he's challenging your rap knowledge. If you saying Eminem and NF is your dude, how is Tom McDonald hard compared to NF and Eminem? Which means your credibility is on the line from what he's saying. He said you have no credibility if you think Tom McDonald is hard. Mm. Personals, let's go, dude. Uh, I'm creative, little bitch. You gonna say the same shit. Everybody say when they try to harm screw and get the races on your side because they always done around. Okay, that part right there. Once he said, Get the races on your side, bro, you did this before, and I hate clap talking. So, anyway, screw you cannot keep using the racist angle. You do this against every white rapper, quit doing that. So, therefore, you lose a point automatically. That that whole bar doesn't even exist now. It's gone. It don't exist. Quit, quit using the racist angle. It's stupid. It's the easy route. Not to mention using the racist angle with a guy who hangs with black people and does black music for a living. Like, bro, stop. You. That's a point. That's a point or two already. You lost. You lost that point. That bar does not count. Stop it. Go. I don't listen, they just hate niggas and argue. You the king of lies, so I gotta star you. Fuck bar you, I really wanna harm you. No cash, yeah, I promise it'll cost you. I'll be honest, you already lost, dude. Oh, uh, okay, okay, let's do the part right here. Uh, McDonald goes hard, dude. Uh, I'm creative, little bitch. You gonna say the same shit. Everybody say when you they try to harm you. Know, they get the races on your side. Because like, they yeah. always done around. They don't listen, they just hate niggas and argue. You the king of lies, so I gotta. So you saying, he's saying you're the king of lions, so I gotta scar you. So he said, you lie, I'm going to have to put a scar on you. Not to mention scar from Lion King. So he's going to have to scar you. What happened to scar? Scar got killed. All right. So he's going to have to scar you, bro. That's what he's saying. Bitch, you going to say the same shit. Everybody say when they try to harm screw. They get the races on your side because they always done around. They don't listen. They just hate niggas and argue. You they just hate ninjas and argue. Okay. You king of lions, so I got to scar you. Fuck bar you. I really want to harm you. No cash yet. I promise it'll cost you. No cashier, I promise it will cost you because we got cashier, you know, tell you how much it costs. No cashier, I promise it will cost you. So he's saying he's going to take out your damn career. It's going to cost you. Your career. However, you need proof about the lying part, screw. What is he lying about? So whatever's going on behind the scenes with y'all two, y'all need to get it together. Y'all need to figure this out. And who's going to win this battle? I don't care if y'all make up or not. I want to see a winner of this battle. Round one, so far, we have started with you. But you already lost a point with the racist part. Dang it. Let's go. I'll be honest. You already lost, dude. Go and drop that low pussy. I'll meet you there. Now what you want? Pop up in your home, pussy. I'll greet you there. I'll really kill you. I ain't shooting low pussy. Just be prepared. I never liked you. Screwface John, BBL, Drizzy, Freestyle. Hey, go check that out. He did drop a song to that BBL Freestyle. I've seen it. Y'all go check that out. Screwface John. All right, he's up. Cornhusk. Next up, we got Knox Hill. Knox Hill, step up to the mic. Do you swear to spit the lyrics, the whole lyrics, nothing but the lyrics to kill this beat with your bars? You got to do it. How we judge it. Bars, flow, message, crime scene, the video. Therefore, you must respond to Mr. Screwface John. Bars. All right, Knox, let's go. What you got? You already got, you already got receipts right here already started you did your homework from the school of m, m 
Let's go. Husker TV. You know what it is over here? Village Boys over here. Corn Husker TV because Screwface John is from Nebraska. So therefore, like he's saying, Corn Husker TV. Now, for those who don't know a little backstory, Stevie Knight did a video on Easy Mill Eminem song. Stevie Knight really didn't like the Eminem, not, uh, Easy Mill's part of the song. And not to mention, he did listen to e Easy Mill's, you know, little freestyles and stuff like that. Also, Stevie Knight talked to Easy Mill about that, of why he rated Easy Mill's verse so low on that song with Eminem. Okay, so go check it out. Check that video out. Screwface gets a hold of this, sees this, talks shit about it, and pretty much says, you're about to find out. Watch what he says. You feel me? Shout out to all the people in the Philippines, all my Nigerians, you feel me? Shout out to all the village boys and girls out there, bro. What we doing, easy? Let me know, bro. Nigga, who is we right now? He got me hyped now, bro. He got me hyped now, bro. Who we riding on, bro? But if you... Because Easy Mill was talking about certain reactors who wasn't really feeling his stuff and he was bringing it out. So, of course, Screwface getting hype about it. Let's go. Talk about who I think you talk about. I think that uh, I'm, I'm ready for whatever. Uh, I think that uh, on too. Uh, coon tubers. Uh. Coon. You hear what he just said? You hear what he just said? That's what he said. That's why Screwface and Stevie Knight had an issue. Listen again. Coon tubers, nigga. Coon tuber. That's what everybody was telling me that he said. You know what I mean? And clearly he's talking about me. It, it looked like he got an issue with me. Put it like this. My 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 boxing debut was um shitty. It was terrible. And uh, you know, I am returning here soon. So if you would like, if you would like, you can run up on me with this energy for my next fight. A few moments later. Organized boxing is just something I'm not going to do. I am a YouTuber and a musician. I'm not a boxer. I wish other people would take that into consideration too. But hey, it is what it is, Stevie, bro. I'm going to make sure that we could get home safe. Where's the smoke? Where's the smoke? Where was the smoke at? Once Stevie and I heard him talking about boxing, you, you, what? The metaphor is what Knox Hill is using right here, saying you bitched out, you punked out. Let's go. Uh, John 844, basically what it means, if you look at John 844, the sins of my father and the evil things he did, I will do those evil things too. That's what, you know, the sins of my father, what the devil did, my, you know, I'm, you're going to do those evil things to her. I will do those evil things that my father did. That's what John 844 is. Cliff notes in the little nutshell. That's what that means. Fraud incorporated. I see that on the bottom. So he's saying you're a fraud. Screw Knox. What you got? And that's on the lie detector machine for those who don't know. Wow. Uh, Narrative manipulator, non-fiction imitator, drama instigator, simulator for the paper, family lies run deep into your lines, a predator, you predicate fakes, let's talk about your mother faking. This man coming with receipts on you, I didn't see this part, I, oh god, let's go, let's go, let's back it up, let's back it up, let's break it down, cause we know Knox is gonna come with bars, so I'm gonna have to break it down cause Knox is bar heavy. Narrative manipulator, non-fiction imitator, drama instigator, simulator for the paper, family lies run deep into your lines, a predator, you predicate fakes, let's talk about your mother faking Medicaid claims. So now he's saying your mama fake Medicaid stuff, he got the news article what your mama did, that's even worse. Instigator, simulator for so you're a drama instigator, you instigate drama. And you assimilate for the paper. You fake. You simulate what other people do just to get the money. The okay. paper family lies run deep into your lines. A predator, you predicate fakes. Let's talk he called you a predator. Also, predator can mean you know what Drake's going through as far as a predator. You know what Puffy going through as far as a predator. He called you the predator and could mean predator from the movie, but he called you the predator because Screwface do got dressed. Predator got dressed, so you two predators. Also, the former Lincoln therapist gets probation in jail. That's your mama he talking about. He pulled up the news article on your mama. A former Lincoln therapist said to have billed false claims to Medicaid has been sentenced to probation and jail time for trying to obtain payment for medical assistance by means of a false statement or reprieve. 
Screw your mama did, man. He put a receipt on your mama. Let's go. For the paper, family lies run deep into your lines. A predator, you predicate fakes. Let's talk about your mother faking Medicaid claims. It's sick you take advantage while you designate gains. Playing victim on a tax dollars, delegate blame. You yeah, y'all playing victim just to get them taxes. You trying to get that free money, huh? Okay, let's go. Faking Medicaid claims. It's sick you take advantage while you designate gains. Playing victim on a tax dollars, delegate blame. You the black Uncle Sam pointing fingers to the same shit. You both froze. Mar wow. Okay, now what he's saying is, you're a predator, you predicate fakes, you basically you Fakes, let's talk about your mother faking Medicaid claims. It's sick you take advantage while you designate gains. Playing victim on a tax dollar, delegate blame. You the Now you're trying to pass the blame out because you're delegating the blame. Who's going to take the blame for all that stuff? You the black Uncle Sam pointing fingers to our team. So basically, like Uncle Sam pointing fingers, you the black Uncle Sam pointing fingers to our team. Black Uncle Sam pointing fingers to our team. Shit, you both frauds. You and your mama are frauds. That's what he's saying. You, you just like your mama. That's Sorry, he spoke the truth when he called you a con. Guess it runs in the family. You both got bars. Prison time, bitch. Prison time, sit and smile. How's the tea? I know you want to get a mug shot. Since you ain't a gunner, why you talking about a thug stop? Anything to get ego. You evil for the payroll. Tu no eres la cultura. Solo eres un bendejo. Get his man and Tony selling lines like it's yayo. You a-ho. All right, let's back this up. Okay, he's spitting them bars. He's spitting them bars on you now. Okay, let's go, let's go. The black Uncle Sam pointing fingers to the same shit. You both froze. Mari spoke the truth when he called you a con. Okay, Mari, Mari, I think he's from, um, I, I can't think, I can't remember where Mari's from. I think he's from Nerd, Nerdcore. I think that's where Mari's from. I guess it runs in the family. You both got bars. So he's saying you and your mama got bars. You both got bars. You got bars because you're a rapper. Your mama got bars because she went to jail for tax fraud. Y'all some frauds. Talking about your mama and you. See, that's the thing with a diss. When they got a diss battle, you go directly at the person. Let's go. Bars. Prison time. Picture time. Sit and smile. How's it? So when you got to prison time, you're going to take your picture. You're going to sit and you're going to do time. That's what he's saying. Right, prison time, picture time, sit and smile, house of tea. I know you want to get a mug shot. This is a house of tea. I know you want to get a mug shot. Of course, you put tea in the mug, and you get a mug shot when you go to prison. You got and house of tea, house of information. That's what he's saying. The tea, house of information, and then the mug shot because you're about to go to jail or prison. And of course, like I said, you got the tea that you put in the mug. All right, let's go. Since you ain't a gunner, why you talking about a snitch? You ain't a gunner, gunner who snitch on you know the whole. YSL crew with Young Thug and all them. You ain't a gunner. Talking about, and you ain't a gunner. You ain't shoot nobody neither. You ain't gunner. You thought you did a snitch. I'm surprised he didn't call you 6 9 while he was at it. That's sad. That's sad, bro. Let's go. Get a mug shot. Since you ain't a gunner, why you talking about a thug stop? Anything again. Why you talking about a thug? Young Thug. See, he called back. He added all that in there. Bars already. We only a minute and 49 seconds to the song. He's kicking your ass. In this ring, bro. You see? Told you. Anything to get a Rico plus a Rico. Rico, Rico charge. You should know. Anything to get a Rico. Quit it. Stop it. Rico's a dude, too. Let's go. He said you're evil for the payroll. Trying to get that money. you evil. Now what he's saying is you ain't even the culture. To know as la carora, you ain't even in the culture. Spanish. In Spanish, he told you that. Solo eres un Solo eres uno pendejo. He called you an asshole. You ain't you ain't about the culture. You ain't for the culture. You an asshole. That's what he said. You ain't the culture. You an asshole. Nah, Spanish, bro. He got you again. And they don't get his man a Tony selling lies like it's Yayo. And they get his man a Tony selling lies like it's Yayo. Tony Diego from um, G Unit Records plus Tony Tony Montana Scarface Yayo. That's what they call the Coke too. So he hit you with a triple right out the gate too. Yo, you a whole wild my money to the. Say you a hole, you a ass, you a asshole, hole, wire, wire my money. Oh, Mo, that's play though. Got a leak and a leak. Suck it up, fuck it up, like a freak on the sheets. What you mean? Who you bleed? She a team, she a team. Whoa, this man's off. He just ain't for entertainment. Whoa. Solo ere un bendejo. Get his man, it's only selling lies like it's yayo. You a hole, why my money to the mo. You a hole, wire money to the mo. Hold, mold, okay, you got that. You got hold, you got mold. So, once again, wire money to the mold. Let's let me get that bar up here real quick. Tony selling lies like it's Yayo. You a 
Okay, yay ho, wire my money to the mole. The mole, the person's getting the information. So, once again, this whole this thing, we got, always got people claiming they got moles in other people's camp. Knox Hill saying he got a mole in your camp. Wire my money to me. Yay ho, wire my money to the mole. The mole who sat there and infiltrated and gave me the information. And the mole, the person that you're trying to portray and copy off of, that's also a mole. Sad, bro. Sad. You going out sad. This might be a knockout. Let's go. Hold wide my money to the mo. That's play doh Got a leak. And, and then play doh play is the stuff you play with. And play doh that's that's play money. I do whatever I want with this money. This is it's nothing to me. How much? A couple thousand? That's play money. Play doh Also, I can mold that stuff like play doh You can mold play doh to whatever you want it to be. Got a leak and a leech. So you got a leak in your camp that is leeching money off of you. Because a leech also, what does it do when it gets on your skin? It pulls out the blood. Uh, let's go. And a leech suck it up, fuck it up. Like and suck it up because a leech will suck it up out. You suck that blood out of you and fuck it up. You better do something about it. And like a freak on the sheets. On the sheets, rap sheets because you guys went to prison. Like a freak on the sheets called you a freak too. All right. Because you called you a predator. And a freak on the sheets. The rap sheets. And we talking about rap sheets as in going to jail rap sheets. Your paperwork. Like a freak on the sheets. What you mean? Who you bleed? She a teen? She a teen? Who you bleed? Because leeches make you bleed. Who you bleed? Is she a teen? Is she 18? So you're saying you messing with underage girls, Screwface. Not you. I know you can't go out like that. You can't be messing with underage girls. The information that he just got on you. Saying is suggesting allegedly screw face you messing with underage girls. Is she 18? Because you gotta be 18 in Nebraska unless you found a loophole or something. But either way it goes, she called you a predator. He called you a predator at the beginning. So that's a callback to the beginning of the song. Bro, suck it up, fuck it up. Talking about that girl too. Mmm. 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 Duck like a freak on the sheets. What you mean? Who you bleed? She a teen? She a teen? Whoa, this man's off. He just ain't for entertainment. Twitter finger sweating cuts, but you ain't affiliated. Blood, blah, blah, blood. What's your type? Don't be negative, ho. Trying to mask it in the mud. That's just lame imitation. Make it up. This bra I want to brush. Know your wrinkle. You just paint the narration. It's the same old story, but you ain't a caretaker. I got no cares given on this fuck cocksucker. You a c Wow. Wow. Let's back it up again. All right, it's play though. Let's go. That's play though. Got a leak and a leak. Suck it up, fuck it up, like a freak on the sheets. What you mean? Who you bleed? She a teen? She a teen? Whoa, this man tough. He just ain't for entertainment. Twitter. This man tough. You just aim for entertainment. Cause you talk about your gun bars. You aim for entertainment. Also, you aim to be entertained or get entertainment. That's what you're talking about. Twitter fingers, tweeting cuts. So they're talking about tweeting cuts. Who you gonna? Who you gonna cut up? What you gonna do? Tweeting your, tweeting your music. And uh, tweeting your little threats. Like a freak on the sheets. What you mean? Who you bleed? She a teen? She a teen? Whoa, this man's off. He just ain't for entertainment. It's with a finger sweating cuts, but you ain't affiliated. But you ain't affiliated, blood. You ain't. He said you ain't a blood. Also goes with the leech scheme. Goes who you bleeding. Suck it up, blood. Cause that's what a leech do. Blood, the gang affiliation, blood. You ain't affiliated. You you ain't affiliated in this rap game. You ain't affiliated with the blood set neither. I ain't gonna lie, 400K in a day is Brazy Ball. So obviously you used to be in Brazy because normally you say crazy. You said Brazy. If those who don't know gang language, anything that start with a B, the Chris will put a C. Anything that start with a C, the Bloods will put a B. So that's why he says Brazy Ball. Okay. Okay. Wonder how long it takes we can break half a mil. Shout out to my SFJ Nation. Ah, uh, Super Saiyan Brazy, huh? Yeah, you did get a lot of views. All right, let's go. You ain't affiliated, though. That's what he's saying. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't it. Affiliated blood, blah, blah, blood. What's your See, blah, blah, blood. So, hey, hey, sorry, bro. What's your type? type? Don't be negative. Now, you're talking about what's your type. Maybe talking about what's that girl, what's your type. But don't be negative, ho. Be negative is a blood type. Don't be negative. Also, don't be negative. Be positive. Be negative. But don't be the person who's being negative. You ain't trying to be positive to people. That's just talking about be negative, be e negative. But be negative as a blood type. He said, don't be negative. That's a blood type. H O H is for hemoglobin. O blood type. O is a blood type as well. O positive, O negative. I'm O positive. I'm the universal giver.
So, don't be negative, O, H, O, hemoglobin, O. Let's go. Negative, ho. Trying to mask it in the mud. That's just lame imitation. Uh, trying to mask in the mud because you put a mud mask on. That's what he's saying. Trying to mask in the mud, trying to hide it. Also goes back to hole and mold and all that good stuff in the dirt. But don't try to mask it. Uh, you're just a lame imitation. You should make it up. This bra I want to brush. No, you're wrinkle. You just paint the... Okay, don't be sitting there. Don't, <laughs> don't make it up. All right, let's go back. Type, don't be negative, ho. Trying to mask it in the mud. That's just... So, mud mask. What you put on, you put on, you peel it off your face. Make, it, make your skin nice and pretty. That's just a lame imitation. Make it up. So you put, talk about put on your makeup and also make it up. Quit telling stories. Quit lying. Your lame imitation. Imitation is not the original. Your imitation. Make it up. Therefore, you're not an imitation. You're not. That's once again an imitation. You made it up. You're lying. Imitation. Not the real deal. Fake. Let's go. This lame imitation. Make it up. This bra I want to brush. This bra I want to brush. Called you a girl once again. This bra I want to brush. Brush also you put in your face for your blush and everything else. I Me mean, called you a bitch without calling you a bitch. Damn, bro. In the ring, in the ring, called you a bitch without saying you a bitch. He just told you everything about what a chick will do to her face. Try to make yourself look pretty. He said you're ugly. <laughs> Let's go. I know your wrinkle. You just paint the narration. It's the same old. Paint the narration. I paint you what you, what I want you to see, what I want you to believe, the story I want to tell. Just like a female who put on makeup, you seeing what she wants you to see. That's the narration. I want you to think I'm beautiful and pretty, but when you take it off, it's a wrap. You got catfish. He he hit you back with your own catfish scheme. That's what he did. The catfish scheme that you was talking about, he hit you back with that stuff because with the makeup, that's a whole catfish scheme. He talking about with the mask on. He hit you back with the mask thing. Screw face. Screw face ain't looking good for you. It ain't looking good. You look like you about to lose a decisive one. I mean, I'm, I, guys, audience, I still, I still have the points in my head. So don't worry. But right now, hey, it ain't looking good for you, screw face. He talking about your whole face. Your whole face is screwed. It's a wrap. In the mud, that's just lame imitation. Make it up. This bra I want to brush. No, your wrinkle. You just paint the neck. Once again, the wrinkle part of the thing. Also, the wrinkle. No, your wrinkle. No, you know what you're talking about. Know that little wrinkle in, in something. There's a wrinkle. There's a clue. Know that little wrinkle. See, there's layers upon layers upon layers of what Knox is hitting you with. Triples and quadruples. He's just putting out little words because why? Because if Knox ain't breaking it down, I got to break it down. I got to do what I got to do because Knox, we here, bro. We here. Got you. Let's go. Narration, it's the same old story, but you ain't a caretaker. I got no. And the same old story. Once again, you're alive. Same old story, the face and everything. All right, let's bring it up back here. Imitation, make it up. This bra I want to brush. No, your wrinkle. You just paint the narration. It's the same old. And plus wrinkle. And you know, they got that movie, The Wrinkle in Time. And plus the same old story. It's another movie he's hitting you back with. Come on. Old story, but you ain't a caretaker. I got no cares given on this fuck cocksucker. You yeah, no caretaker. Plus, because your mama was in the healthcare field. Old story. Old people in the healthcare. Caretaker in the health field. He's hitting you back up. You ain't no caretaker. You ain't really doing nothing. You ain't helping no Imitation, make it up. This bra I want to brush. No, your wrinkle. You just paint the narration. It's the same old story, but you ain't a caretaker. I got no cares given on this fuck cocksucker. See, it's, I don't even care. I have no cares for you. Fucker, you a cuck. And you know what a cuck is? He said, you, you're one, you're a cocksucker. That's what he called you. Everybody know what that means. You fucking cocksucker. You fucking mooly. You cocksucker. You fucking cocksucker. Get over here. But you a cuck. A cuck, which is the weirdest word ever, but a cuck is a person who watches the women have sex with another man, who allows them to have sex with another man. You watch it. You the punk. You ain't getting nothing. Think of Adam 22 and what he went through when he said he gonna let his wife sleep with a dude with a BBC. And then he got all mad because that dude with the BBC, his wife actually started liking this black dude. So everybody started calling Adam 22 a cuck. That's what he called you, Screwface John. You a cuck. You just watch. You ain't getting nothing. That's that's some punk shit right there. He punking you. Let's go. 
pulling for them clicks. Really, what you gon' pull? Throwing prints in the air, son. Yeah. Really, you the tool? Yeah. No, king. Oh, no. Nebraska is a mood. You spent more time there than in Nigeria. Cool. Oh, oh, let's get it. Okay, you a cook? Pulling for them clicks. Really? You pulling for them clicks? Once again, pull the gun, pull the trigger, get them clicks. Also, you pulling? You trying to get people to watch your channel? You pulling for them clicks and you pulling for them? You pull the trigger for that gun. All right, you guys got it. You got it. Let's go. What you gonna pull? Throwing prints. In he said, "What you gonna pull? You ain't got nothing. You ain't pulling no girls. You ain't pulling no clicks. You ain't pulling no triggers." You ain't got nothing on me. Clicks, really? What you gonna pull? Throwing prints in the air, son. Really, you the tool? No. Yeah. Now we got we got the throne. Pull it for them the clicks. Throne. Really, what you gonna pull? Throwing prints in the. Throwing prints in the air. So throwing fingerprints. Once again, a crime scheme. We throwing the fingerprints in the air. Throne as in throne with the king sits on. Prince as in the prince, the son of the king in the air. Heir to the throne. All that good stuff like that. You throwing prints in the air. Hand prints, hands up. You're getting arrested. Let's go. In the air, son, really, you the tool. And also prints, because your, your fingerprints on that gun, you're throwing prints in the air. No king, you ain't a king. King, prince, throwing air. Let's go. No king, no. Nebraska's a mood. And also, no king. Like when you say, nah, son, nah, whatever. He said, nah, king. Also, king, as in the throne. Now, the other thing that Knox is hitting you with, is you really are the tool. You're a punk. you the hoe. That's what he called you, the tool. And also the tool, the gun? No, you're not. You're the tool. You're the hoe. That's what he's saying. He said, what you gonna pull? You ain't pulling shit. What cook? Pulling for them clicks. Really, what you gonna pull? Throwing prints in the air, son. Really, you the tool? No, king. No. Nebraska's a mood. You spent more time. So Nebraska's a mood. Nebraska is like what it is. Nebraska's a mood. It could be a bad mood. It ain't shit. Spent more time there in Nigeria because you already know. Screwface John has Nigerian roots and things like that. You spend more time in Nebraska and Nigeria say so you don't visit your homeland. You in Nebraska playing around in the cornfields. Let's go. Time there than in Nigeria. Cool. cool. You can't cool. deny rap. It's Amer American go. roots. Both your parents immigrants. So we're sharing it too. We both guess. Yeah, you call Stevie a who? You said the same to Shaq, man, he won't react to you. You pissed off Nerco, another trend that you could use. Then Mari called you out, so you send to him for views. Blame anyone and everyone. The drama follows you. Someone get this man a mirror screw. Ah, get him. Kicking your ass. He's, I'm sorry he's kicking your ass. I'm being unbiased. I watch both of y'all channels. I see what y'all be doing. But screw. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. My, my lord, my lord. Let's go. You the tool, no king. No. Nebraska is a mood. You spent more time there than in Nigeria. Cool. cool. You can't deny rap. It's okay. You got can't deny rap. It's American roots. You can't. It's American roots. It's rooted here. Started in Jamaica though, and then went up to New York. Cool hurt. Melly Mel. All of them. Furious Five. Rap is American roots, bro. Let's go. It's American roots. Both your parents immigrants. So we're sharing it too. We and your parents are immigrants. So we sharing it too. So like Knox saying, look, I'm not really from here. My my family are immigrants coming here. Your family's immigrants coming here. So we sharing it. You don't own this land. Why are you trying to call me racist? You're like, we both guess. Because what they say about Eminem, he's a guest of hip hop. What Screwface saying about Knox, he's a guest in hip hop. He's not really about that life. Knox is about that life. He's not a guest. He said, I'm a guest. You a guest. Guess what? We both here. We sharing it. He said, your parents are immigrants. See, this is the diss directly at you. Not all this other stuff. I make more money and all this other crap and blah, blah, blah. Get at your target. Let's go. Can't deny rap. It's American roots. Both your parents immigrants. So we're sharing it too. We both guests. Yeah, you call Stevie a who? You said the same to Shaq, man, he won't react to you. You pissed off Nerco, another trend that you could use. Then Mari called you out, so you send to him for views. Blame anyone and everyone. The drama follows you. Someone get this man a mirror screw. Okay, now this part right here. This part right here. Red so we're sharing it too. We both guess. Yeah, you call Stevie. Mm, mm, mm. Stevie a who? All right, you call Stevie a who? C O O N. That's what you call Stevie. That's what he's saying. I ain't gonna say the word because I ain't trying to get banned off of YouTube. He said, I'm gonna spell it out for you. C-O-O-N. That's what he calls Stevie. Stevie Knight. 
Yes. Yeah, you call Stevie a who? Stevie Nice, a reaction channel for those who don't know. You said the same to Shaq, Matt, he won't react to you. And then you're talking about no life Shaq. He said you saying this you said the same to no life Shaq and you mad because he won't react to you. He won't react to your music and you mad at Shaq. You jealous. Let's go. You pissed off Nerdcore, another trend. Now Nerdcore, Nerdcore is a bunch of nerds who rap, do metal and all that stuff. I need to see their channel too. But Nerdcore, yeah, that's what they do over there. I'm probably gonna start reacting to some of their music, but you pissed their ass off too. Cause that's another trend you could have been on to help get your music out there because your ass a nerd. That's what he's saying. Nerd course, another trend you could use. You could use them also to get where you at because you don't care about them, so you're gonna use them. Another trend. Back to you, you pissed off Nerco, another trend that you could use. Then Mari called you out, so you send Yeah, Mari called you out. So Mari might be somebody off of Nerdcore. One of the artists or whoever runs the channel, whatever, you called him out. Okay. The him for views, but so you send at him for views. So basically you probably went at him to get views. To up your game, to up your channel, to up your views and all that stuff. You went after Mario, okay? Blame anyone and everyone. And then once again, you blame anyone and everyone. You blaming everybody else for the stuff you doing. And the drama follows you. You, bro. You. The drama follows you. Someone get this man a mirror, screw. Someone get this man a mirror, screw. Man in the mirror, Michael Jackson, King of Pop. And get this man a mirror so you can see yourself. Look at yourself. Get him a mirror, screw. Go. Start doing some reflective, yeah. feed a victim narrative. You feel yeah, some reflective, reflective in the mirror, also, and plus reflection. Think about your life, think about what you're doing. So, get this man a mirror. Let's go. Zoo, someone get this man a mirror, screw. Start doing some reflective, yeah. feed a victim narrative. You feel empty and neglected. How you claiming all these bodies? Think you need to die? Just it, fool. Don't tell me. Oh, he hit you with the food bar. Okay. All right, you blame anyone, everyone. You blame everybody for your problem. And everyone, the drama follows you. Some drama follows you. Okay, we got you. We heard you. We know, Knox. Tell him again. One, get this man a mirror, screw. Start doing some reflective. Yeah. Feed a victim narrative. You feel empty and neglected. How you claiming? So feed the victim narrative. Keep feeding that victim narrative out there. Keep appeasing yourself with that narrative that you're the victim. Also feed as an eating. Feed the victim narrative. Go ahead and feed that beast. Feed that monster. Feed me, Seymour. Let's go. More. Let's go. You claiming all these bodies saying you up here knocking people out, shooting them and all that. And you claim all these bodies on the internet as well. But you claim all these bodies that you're taking out. Okay. 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 And all these bodies think you need to die. Just it. You need to die. Just it. Now, look how you split that up. Think you need to die. Just it. That's also called a swing bar. That's a big swing bar. Die. Pause. Just it. That's a big, that's called a swing bar. But he said you need to digest it. When you eat, you digest your food and you need to die. You need to go. You need to get up out of here. Just it. Yeah. Let's go. Fool. Don't tell me. Are you a fool? That's what he said. Called you a fool. But he called you a fool. Homophones. phones. Words that sound the same. All right. He's getting you. He's getting you. You need to die. Just it. Fool. Don't tell me about no culture, you a virus. Latch on to anyone, attempt to get you higher. You fire at me for the spins, you ride trends, never tire. Who you gon' drop by? I wave high when you blanket, you anemic with that iron. Get it up. Set up. Oh, let's bring let's bring that back before we get to the Eminem shit. Let's go. Self reflection, right? Let's go. Start doing some reflective, feed a victim narrative. You feel empty and neglected. How you claiming all these bodies? Think you need to die? Just it, fool. Don't tell me about no culture, you a. They don't tell me about no culture. Goes back to saying you're the culture. Like he said in Spanish, you ain't the culture, though. He said you think you're the culture. Virus. Latch on. Once again, you're the virus. Like computer virus. And also you're a virus. You're actually making the culture worse. You're making us sick. Don't tell me about no culture. You a virus. Latch on to anyone. Attempt to get you high. He said latch on to anyone. Once again, latch on. Because leech is back. Like he said earlier, leeches latch on. You a leech. So call back. Late leech lacked on. Okay, okay, let's go. latch on to anyone attempt. And also, a virus will latch on to you inside your blood cells and your and your regular cells as well. Anything a virus can't latch on to, right? Let's go. Tell me about no culture. You a virus latch on to anyone attempt to get you higher. Uh, latch on attempt to get you higher. So attempt. You talking about attempt to get you higher, a higher in your status. You're a virus. You trying to leech on anybody? Get you up in your status. But also he said temp to temperature. So that's what he's saying. Let anybody get your temperature. So 
talking about that too. So you like to unplace your temperature because what happens when you get a virus? Your temperature goes up. Get your temperature higher. All right. Tell me about no culture. You a virus. Latch on to anyone. Attempt to get you higher. And attempt to get you higher. And then higher. Hired. Also going on to a crew. Getting hired onto some type of rap contract, hip hop contract, any type of contract. So. You're leeching to get on all that. Plus, your temperature is going to get you higher, too, because you got a virus. That's sad. You're going out sad, screw. You're going out sad. Latch on to anyone. Attempt to get you higher. You fire at me for the spins. You right. You fire at me for the spins. You fire. Talking about the gun. And then you talking fire. You coming at me for the, trying to get the views for the spins to get your music played. You coming after me. Because you know if you come after me, people are going to listen to your music. You come after me. But guess what? It also helps. Knox. Okay, okay. And me for the spins. You brought trends, never tire. Who you go? It spins, cause tires spin. And you going after what? Treads or trends? Me for the spins. You brought trends. Oh, you right. Trends never tired. So once again, talk about the spins, tire, ride. All right, we got you on that too. Double, double. You fire at me for the spins. You ride trends, never tire. Who you gonna drive by? You talking about you don't get tired of trying to ride people's coattails neither. And who you gonna drive by? Tire spins, drive by. Who you gonna ride by and shoot? Cause you got all these gun bars once again. Who you gonna drive by? Who you gonna pass by on your ascent to get to the top? Also, who you gonna drive by? And then who you gonna drive by? Drive by and drive by. Double. Go. I wave high when you blanket. You anemic with that iron. Get it up. Said I'm defending them. Okay, now who you gonna drop, drop by? by? I wave high. When I wave high while you blanket. So once again, call back to the whole Michael Jackson part. King blanket, Prince, all that good stuff. Blanket also when you shoot, and then I wave high while you blanket. That's a nice callback. Good callback, Knox. Blanket is Michael Jackson's son. You talking about King and all that other stuff earlier. Prince King and everything. I told you, I caught it. I get them bars. Let's go. Fire, you fire at me for the spins. You ride trends, never tire. Who you gonna drop by? I wave high when you blanket. You and then also blanket. You know Michael Jackson died by some virus and he got sick when he took them shots as well. Michael Jackson got virus. You anemic with that iron. Iron is the gun. You ain't carrying no guns. That's what you're talking about. So you anemic. You ain't got it. And you anemic with iron. You ain't got no iron in your body. So which makes you anemic. That's sad. You ain't got no iron. You ain't got no guns. And you got no iron in your bloodstream, neither. You're tired. Because it makes you tired when you anemic. You get tired. Tire, who you gonna drop by? I wave high when you blank it. You anemic with that iron. Get it up. Set up defense. So get it up. Get that Get that iron up. Get it up. All right, let's go. Spinning Eminem. And then Eminem. Made your own track. Trolling Melly Melly dissing him. Spencer Sharp's known for dissing, so you hop on tracks with him. Named your album Slime Shady. Oh my God, coincidence? Hmm. You did what? Why did you do that? And then Eminem made your own. All right, so you calling out Knox for defending Eminem? That's what you're doing. You say I'm calling out, but you def you sit there and react to Eminem too, Screwface. You may be saying Knox may be going overboard with the Eminem stuff, but look what you do. Okay. Own tracks trolling Melly Mel and dissing him. Okay, then you made your own tracks trolling Melly Mel and dissing him. So you gonna diss? Melly Mel, but you saying Knox defend Eminem when you made a diss track towards Melly Mel, dissing him. Once again, hip hop roots is in America. Melly Mel's here too from New York. So once again, he's one of the root people. Melly Mel is one of the kings back in the day of hip hop, the godfather. No matter what you think about Melly Mel, his music and him messing with Eminem and all that, Melly Mel is one of the godfathers of hip hop and respect. He was part of that whole Furious Five and getting up there. So still respect to Melly Mel for starting hip hop, but as far as him trying to rap and diss Eminem, that don't work. But Screwface, you dissed Eminem, you diss Melly Mel defending Eminem. So come on, man, come on. Own track trolling Melly Mel and dissing him. Spencer Sharp's known for dissing, so you hop on tracks with him. Named now I don't know who Spencer Sharp is, so I'll leave that one alone. But you named your album Slime Shady. So come on now, who are you really? Who's really protecting Eminem? You named your album Slime Shady. You don't see Knox doing that. Knox may be on his way to working with Eminem. He did a song with 
uh, Cricket, King Cricket, also known as Cricket Eye. And, but you named your album Slime Shady. Knox never did that. Knox did a song with Cassius, who's also connected to M. You don't see Knox naming this stuff after no Cassius, King Cricket, or Eminem. But you did. Let's go. Named your album Slime Shady. Oh my God, coincidence? Hmm. I'm sick of dissing hypocrites, acting like you all for the war. Get the Gaza Strip back. What is real? What is lower? Blasphemy. Uh, uh, you ain't God. You ain't law. When no sword, you gon' march for what for? God, we gotta hit that. He hit you with he hit you with some bars right there. All right, let's go. I'm sick of dissing hypocrites, acting. All right, he called you a hypocrite. He's saying, hey, you you can't stand on what you say. And like you all for the war. Okay, you act like you for the war. You want smoke? You act like you want to smoke, right? Yeah, that's what you said. Who's not fire but always with the smoke? I'll wait. No, I won't. Me. Let's go. I'm sick of dissing hypocrites. Acting like you all for the war. Get the Gaza Strip back. What? Oh, talking about Gaza. Gaza plus is in the war with Israel. And he's saying, what Israel? Like you all for the war. It's acting like you all for the war. Get the Gaza. And get the Gaza because you about to cut you up. So Gaza, get the Gaza. The Gaza Strip back. And he said, Gaza strip back. Get the Gaza strip back to my Gaza the country. And then get the Gaza strip. The Gaza that you're going to have to put on your body from all the cuts and bruises you're about to put on you from war. Get the Gaza strip back. Okay. Strip back. What is real? What is what is real? Israel. What is real? And what is real? Okay. Got you. What is lore? What's the story? What's Lord? That's that's what Lord means. What's the story? And Lord, what is Lord? Because it is a religious countries out there too. That's what they are. Let's go. It's Lord, blasphemy. You ain't God. And blasphemy is a lie. Blasphemy. How dare you? That's what blasphemy is. And you gonna talk about blast at him too? Blast with the gun. Blast. God's a strip right. back. What is real? What is Lord? Blasphemy. You ain't God. You gonna blast for me? Just get to shoot that me. Plus blasphemy. Whatever. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Whatever. Blasphemy. How dare you? You ain't God. You ain't nothing. You you don't control whether I live or die. You ain't God. You ain't that dude. You ain't law. When no sword, you gon' march for what for? Come and get this protest, but you really uninformed. Come and get this protest. This protest. Come and get this protest. Come and get the test from the pro. And not to mention, come and get this protest. So you're talking about marching and everything, because you ain't gonna be marching. Come get this protest. All right. Come get this protest. Come pro Come test me, bro. You ain't law, when no sword, you gon' march for what for? Come and get this protest, but you really uninformed. Oh, I make it look easy. You, you uninformed. You don't know what you're talking about. That's what he's saying. You don't know. Yeah, no idea. Because he said you've been lying. You've been a hypocrite this whole time. Cole apologized, did he? This protest, but you really uninformed. Oh, I make it look easy. Yeah. Cole apologized. Cole apologized. He backed out that Drake. Kendrick Beef, J. Cole backed out. He said he was sorry for what he was talking about. He ain't he ain't want the smoke. He ain't want the smoke. Guys, what did you do to Stevie, please? Mm. They not like us. They just some cucks. They moving sus. Put on the gloves. We on the hunt. You put on the gloves, get the finger cut off gloves, screw face. Put on the gloves. Do what you gotta do. We on the hunt, right? Let's go. Why do they dug? Why do they dug? They not like us. They just some cucks. Nah, he got me hyped now, bro. He got me hyped now, bro. Who we riding on, bro? Cut it out, you from Lincoln. Get the crop, Photoshop. Mm. Go and pick another feature. Oh, yeah, too real for it. Pick a photo with his features. Come and get it, feel for him. In the field, he a reaper. Let him peel corn. Golly, he's kicking your ass, screw. I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm sorry. Nah, he got me hyped now, bro. He got me hyped now, bro. Who you hype? You hype now? That's what he said. Got me hype. Let's keep riding on, bro. Cut it out. You from Lincoln. Get the crop. He said, You from Lincoln, Nebraska. Get the crop. Photoshop. Get the crop. Crop circles. Crop as in the crop of the corn. Because you corn huskers from Lincoln, Nebraska. Photoshop. Also, you crop images to paste them where you at. You ain't the real deal. Photoshop. Go and fake another feature. Oh, yeah. Go fake another feature. Go act like you really rapping with somebody. Go fake another feature. Go act like you was really doing something with somebody. You too real for it. Fake Are you too real for it? All right. Are you too real for it? You ain't gonna you you ain't gonna do that and you for it. Are you too real for it? You for it? Okay, I got you. I got you. Cut it out. You from Lincoln. Get the crop. Photoshop. Go and take another feature. Oh, you too real. Or are you too real for it? Wow. Are you too real? Too real? Real also? Are you too real for it? Because of real Instagram reels. That's what you're talking about. Instagram reels. Are you too real for it? 
Hey, are you? Are you not? Or are you so? Let's Cut it out, you from Lincoln, get the crop, photo shop, go and pick another feature. Oh, yeah, too real for it. Pick a photo with his features coming. Pick a photo with his features. Bro, stop faking for your features. Get a field for him in the field here, Reaper. In the field here, a reaper. So in the field, in the cornfield, you're a reaper because the Grim Reaper is what they do. They take their scythes, like the Grim Reaper is called a scythe or a sickle. And then they swing it and chop them corns. And so they could collect the corns in the basket and things like that. In the field, you're also in the field, not the battlefield. That too, they're saying you're in the field and the hip hop field. And you're in the field of the corn. You're the reaper. You swing that scythe, get the corn. You can be the Grim Reaper too. Let him kill corn. Remember when you said up And then you feel corn also corn is a it's a rock group, grunge rock band from Seattle. Corn. Remember when you said a blind man wasn't blind? You know what? I remember that video. When you said a blind man wasn't blind. I remember you watched I remember watching that video some years ago when you said that mess. Man, people were so mad at you. That dude was blind. You say he wasn't. I was yelling at the screen. This before I became a reactor. I remember that. You said that blind man wasn't blind. I'm like, what? Like, whatever, man. He's faking. I don't, I don't believe this. This is this, this, this a scam. This is a hoax. I'm like, dude, he's blind. Let's go. Remember when you said a blind man wasn't blind? Damn, why'd you have to lie, scam, and sell it to your fans to attack him? You yeah, because the fans start believing that mess. No, oh, he ain't blind. Yeah, I'm with you, screw. Because he, how, how's he blind? And he know how to do this, this, and that. It's called training. You get trained when you're blind. So you can move around. Just because you're blind don't mean you got to sit in one spot and you can't move around. Like, bro, what was you thinking? That a blind man wasn't blind, damn. And your fans who believed it was dumb, too. Then why'd you have to lie, scam, and sell it to your fans to attack them? Scam, sell. You know, when you're selling a scam. Yeah. And verbally selling that scam. So. Your man chose some off of mental health, and you the piece of shit that said it for the traction. Go figure anything to get the method, but you ain't got the mode that means something. I'm average, gum bar, gum bar, pop, pop culture. You a savage with the shallow metaphors and the bragging, you bragging. Every single single last year, it was that shit is tragic. You ain't a real artist, you were just built for battles. Ill with the Maddox, where's all the classics? You remix some uh, rap tricks. Uh, they not like us, they not like us. Uh, we gotta bring that back, break that down. We gotta bring that back. Bring that back. Break it down. Let's go. After last game and sell it to your fans to attack them. Your man chose some off of Okay, Samad, you went at Samad. I remember you rapping against Samad. Samad's another reactor plus rapper, a YouTube rapper. So you chose Samad. Matter of fact, Screwface got dissed on Samad just a couple weeks ago. Check that out on Screwface channel. Of course, I'm gonna plug y'all stuff. I ain't gonna say don't check y'all out, but you getting your ass whoops. You getting your ass whooped, screw. Samad for mental health, ain't that what your mama got caught for? You want to throw Samad for mental health trying to say he ain't hurting inside mentally? You trolled him for his mental health? That's how that's how we doing it? Okay. Mental health and you the piece of shit that shared it for the traction. Yeah, and you the one who shared it for the traction. You try to get more views, more numbers for the traction by trolling this man by his mental health. Sad. For mental health and you the piece of shit that shared it for the traction. Go figure anything to get the meth. Yeah, go figure. Figure it out. Go figure. Think about it. Plus figure. Traction figure. Shoot. Got the tractions. Okay. Figure it also. Money. 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 Sell that scam. Figure. Set it for the traction. Go figure anything to get the method. But you ain't got the mo. Because you got to figure the math out. Got to figure that math out, bro. Oh, to mean something. I'm mad. Yo, you ain't got the mode to mean something. Okay. Those who are not good in math. Here's get the method, is. but you ain't got all right. You got the mode in math, and you had the means in math. Once again, a call back to screw mode. There's a mode, M O D E, and there's the mean. So you got the mode and the mean. That's part of math equations. That's the thing that's algebra or trigonometry. Also, you ain't got the mode. You ain't got the mode. You ain't got the know how. You ain't got the way to get the mean something. So, you ain't got the mode. You ain't got that. That means something. You have no meaning to something neither. So you got the mode to mean something. You got the math. So he hit you with math, bro. He hit you with some, I think it's algebra two or three. You, I, but you also get introduced with mode and meaning intermediate algebra as well. So he still hit you with that math. Figure. Go figure it out. Get the method. But you ain't got the mode to mean something. I'm average. Gumbar.
frequency average get your average from your mode and your means you you figure out your averages that's the damn thing and you're trying to call knox hill average knox hill is not average some people may think he is some people may think he's not but mode mean average figure math gotcha something i'm average gumbar gumbar pop pop culture you were so gumbar gumbar because that's all you doing pop pop culture so he called you a pop culture not to mention pop shoot shoot around gum bars in the in the rap hip-hop culture everybody want to have them gum bars savage with the shallow he called you a savage you ain't a savage bro all right metaphors in the bragging yay and you're shallow with the metaphor shallow means you're very low your metaphors is low you're shallow with the metaphors sorry bro you ain't just you say you just ain't got it you shallow with the metaphors and the bragging even that you ain't good at that neither you ain't good at metaphors and bragging this is hip hop, you know, savage. You were savage with the shallow metaphors and the bragging, you bragging. Every single single last year, it was. Every single single last year, it was that shit. Every single single, talking about the song, last year, it was that shit. It was it. It was it was on. Bragging. Every single single last year, it was that shit. It's tragic. You ain't a real artist. You were just built for battles. You ain't a real artist. You. You ain't you can't paint the picture. You ain't a hip hop artist as well. You ain't an artist. You just built for battles. An artist also builds things like an architect. Artists build things. You just built for battles. You just want to battle people. You just want to sit there and go at people. So work with people. Because an artist builds. You don't build in the hip hop community. You want to battle everybody. You ain't that artist. A real no. artist. You were just built for battles. Ill with the Maddox. And ill with the Maddox. Ill Maddox. Shout out to Nas. Where's all the class? Because it is a classic. Illmatic is a classic Nas album. I think that it came out like in 92? 91, 92, I think Illmatic came out. 92, I think. I might be off a couple years, but I think it was 92 Illmatic came. Definitely about 94. But Illmatic's a classic. Let's go. Those Ill with the Maddox. Where's all the classics? You remix some rap trends. So you're saying you taking other people's beats, remix, remixing rap trends. You taking all other people's beats and remixing your rap trends. So you can't come up with nothing original. You have no classics. For battles, ill with the Maddox. Where's all the classics? You remix some rap trends. Hmm. They not like us. They not like us. They move as us. Put on the he said you sus. The gloves. We on the hunt. Why do they dug? They just some cucks. <laughs> Jean 844. Uh. Yo, he hit you with that lie detector. So, what we're going to do, we are going to come back with the verdict right after this. Bars. Yo, what's up? All right, we got the verdict. No, here's how we're going to do it. Let's go ahead and set it up right now. All right, so we had Screwface John going after Knox Hill for the battle. So, the reactor battle is what I call it. Now, Screwface, what you got? Okay, Screwface, here's what you did. You came with the gun bars. You had some metaphors in there. But you're talking about the killing, the shooting, and don't play me on my videos and all that. You call them racist. Definitely had to take some points off of that. Too many gun bars. Did you have anything memorable in there? Yeah, you had a couple things. You had some bars in there at the beginning. But to me, you start losing steam. You kind of picked it up. Then you start losing it again. So your bars wasn't really there. Once again, you going for a disc battle, go directly at the opponent. Don't be bringing up, going all off track, coming back in, off track, come back in. They this, he this, he this, they this, I'm this, I'm that, I'm going to shoot this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to shoot. Oh, yeah, him this, him. No. The whole time you stay on his ass. No, Diddy. You got to do it. Now, next. This is a battle. You got to do it. You got to stay on. So, you was, you was in there. And it was good. You picked the right beat. You picked the euphoria. You was on it. You was doing the damn thing, but 
dude, you got to have receipts. Back up your claims. You was just talking and saying he's this, he's that, he's that. Have receipts. Get some dirt on Knox. You got to do it. You got to now. Knox Hill? Knox Hill comes through with the Mayweather stuff. Ducking, dodging. Then he just started Mike Tyson in you. Double, triple entendres. Had receipts. Had your mama's info in there. Brought that up. Talking about how she went to jail. Had receipts on you about what you said about Stevie Knight, Easy Meal, and all that. Had other receipts in that. Brought up how you was from Nebraska. He hit, he hit you with every combination of entendres he could think of. And he hit every one. He sat there and just obliterated that song. Obliterated. That's the one thing I like about Knox Hill. Knox can't rap. When he in battle mode, Knox, you got a knack for battling. I would give you that. You have a knack for battling. Bars to break down. Screw face and stuff was way too easy. It was easy. It was easy work for me. I like a challenge. Knox Hill made you think. Hey, know what you're thinking. Double, triple entendres. I was picking up extra stuff as we was going on because I'm just that dude when it comes to bar breakdown. Therefore, I am that referee to do this battle. Now, screw face, you better come with something else. Knox Hill, I'm pretty sure you got something in the chamber because you did reply to that quick. So, therefore, I know you got something in the chamber or you got something on standby that you ready to just jot down and jump in the, jump on the mic because I don't know your writing process. I don't know if you write or come off the top of the head or do both. So, Knox Hill came with the Haymakers. My thoughts on it? Screwface, you got an uphill battle, bro. You have an uphill battle to climb. I don't think you're going to win this one. I really don't. I really don't think you're going to do this, but we're going to find out. We're going to see what you got. Now, as far as the winner on round one, I'm going to tell you who the winner is. The winner of round one, So, the winner of round one, I'm going to have to give it to Knox Hill. Why? Because bars, bars. Knox had the bars going on. So, with that comes double and triple entendres. So, once he had the double and triple entendres, he went on and beat Screwface. Screwface, you didn't have as much. You had some bars. Some of the bars that you did actually... Made some sense, but it's too many gun bars. Way too many gun bars that you didn't stay on topic. You just did not stay directly at Knox. Knox stayed directly at you. He sit there and kicked your ass. That's the thing with the bars. A lot of doubles, a lot of triples, a lot of callbacks. He ended one bar and went back to, back to the beginning and connected it. So he had what they call internal rhyme schemes. He has swing bars where you say something, pause, and then pick it up again. So he has swing bars on you. That's the other thing that he had. Now, with that being said, screw, you got to you gotta come at round two much better. As far as Knox go, Knox had receipts to go at anything to back up the bars, which is very important in the disc. Production-wise, Euphoria's beat is better than Not Like Us beat. Not Like Us is more like, you know, crit walking, blood walking, square dancing, things like that. Euphoria's beat, even though I didn't like the beginning, Euphoria's beat by Kendrick, same artist, was a lot better to me than Not Like Us. Not Like Us would get you amped. Euphoria is more, it's more battle tested, it's battle ready. Euphoria is, is also not as popular as Not Like Us, but as far as coming out as one of the hardest when he did it, Euphoria was great. Now, production, not, that's production impact star appeal. So now we're talking about your YouTube star appeal. Knox Hill got star appeal. One of the coolest cats on the internet. One of the coolest breakdown people on reaction channels is Knox Hill. So I definitely give him that. As far as Screwface, he's entertaining. He's energetic. Some things you really don't know if he's being serious or not. And he got caught in some contradictions that I even spotted by Knox just as well. So Screwface, your star appeal, especially among your fans, both of y'all got a million subs each. Knox hit it first. Screwface followed after. Knox also promotes his music. He's very good at that. And once again, you're both at an eight. It's not taking away credibility or anything like that. Your star appeal both stands still at an eight, in my opinion. Skill set on this song, Knox Hill gets a 10. 
he displayed all kinds of skill on that record. He sat there and hit you with every bar, every double, every triple, every quad. And on top of that, he stayed on top of it. He directed it right at you. So that's a skill set to stay at your opponent and not sway, plus backup receipts that he had to go with that skill set. Speed, slow down, stop and go, a one, two, one, two, what they call staccato flow, a one, two, one, two. A one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. He hit you with that and a one, two, three, four. He even got you with those. So he got you with the four, the three, and the two measures on your on the beat. Unlike with Screw on the skill set, he really didn't do much but kind of just went at it. He tried to be aggressive. Some of the words slurred. It wasn't as clear. Um, also, it was just, it was kind of not together not cohesive it wasn't as much together because like i said you went away you came back you went away you came back that's the one thing i could say about that kill shots knox had all the kill shots i'm sorry that is not much more to say knox had much of the kill shots coming at you hitting you with punch after punch after punch like i said and he had facts to back that stuff up he did his homework kill shots screw face you had a couple in there you had you know there's a couple things that you hit him with that could have hurt but too much gunplay, way too much. Skill wise, Knox, hey, you, you, that it was top tier. Lyricism, once again, that go, that would go with the kill shots and your skill set. But the lyric wise, the song was put together perfectly. It was good. It was where it's supposed to be. It stayed on course. The rhyme pattern flowed. It wasn't a lot of forced lyrics. It wasn't no filler. Just a tad bit, but the tad bit of filler that you did have was, was the not like us part, the little chorus that you put in there, a little bit of filler. Um, as far as screw, lyricism was cool, but it's, it was average. It was an average song. It was cool. It was like, okay, okay, let's see what he could do. It, it's a test for Knox, but the, it just wasn't enough. Not enough. Not a bad song. Just wasn't enough in my opinion. Activity. We talking about YouTube activity. YouTube activity. I'm gonna give that to Knox. Knox had more YouTube activity. Really staying with the news of how things are going with um, releases. Definitely knows his history on what he's talking about with a lot of the rappers. It reminds me of myself. Knows history of the rappers. The activity is good. Uh, Screwface, your activity was fine. Your activity is good on YouTube as well. You do a lot of songs. You stay on course with everybody else. And you hit some topics. You and Knox both hit trending topics. Knox edges you out, though, on the trending topics when it comes to activity. So the final winner, the final score for the winner of the battle goes to Knox, 64-54. Got to give it to Knox, 64-54. to 54. One thing about this is, Screwface, you got to come with some heat when you return to this battle. But the skill set is definitely is where Knox hit you at, along with the kill shot and lyricism. He was just he was just edging you out all the way, kept you engaged with the song, kept you wanted to hear more. What was next? It was unpredictable. That's another thing that's good about making sure you have your lyricism with your skill set aligned. You need to be unpredictable. I could predict what Screwface is about to say next. That's the only thing about it. It was too predictable. But it is what it is. 64-54, Knox Hill is your winner for round one. Once again, come to your boiler cane for your battles. You got to make sure you see me because I'm going to be the official battle channel for this whole thing. So with that being said, it's your boiler cane where it's face famous. Get ready for round two, reactor battle. I don't know who started it, but we need to see who's going to finish it. It's your boiler cane, we face famous. Yeah.